Hey, what's going on guys? John Shea here from the No Shame Income Vlog. And today I'm gonna to talk about my experience actually going out there and ordering a website on Fiverr.com. I paid a little over $288 for this website. So I'm gonna walk you through my experience of actually hiring someone on Fiverr to buy a website, what the experience was like, and what I actually got out of spending this money. But before we dive into today's video, if you guys are brand new here on the channel or if you're a returning visitor, be sure to throw me a thumbs up on the video. Be sure to hit the bell notification and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I'm actually gonna be releasing new videos each and every week. And don't forget, if you have any questions on this video or if you have anything you wanna ask me, feel free to leave a comment in the video and I will actually be sure to come back and reply to your comment. So let's dive into today's video. All right, so I'm over on Fiverr.com and just to give a little bit of background, maybe for some of you, if you've never heard of Fiverr.com, this is basically a website where you can order services starting at just $5. What's cool though is that over the years it's actually become something more than that where people have now started offering more premium services ranging you know, from things that could cost literally hundreds of dollars. So I was actually in a situation recently where a client of mine came to me and was like, you know, I really want to update our design on the website and I knew it was something that was old. I've been doing SEO for them for quite some time now and I said, you know what, he's right, but in all honesty, I just, I didn't really want to do the website design for this. I knew he was going to want something a little bit more advanced than maybe some of the sites that I've done in the past. And I've never really been good with like graphics or getting things to like look super snazzy. And while I know that there's tons of themes and stuff with WordPress out there that make this simple, I didn't really wanna to have to sit there and try to like figure out what's gonna be the best bet for him. I basically went around on Fiverr and I looked at a bunch of people that were selling sites. And here was someone here that had over 2,000 five-star reviews. They had a pretty good price at the time. Believe it or not, they've actually raised the price. So unfortunately for you guys, if you decide to use this person, they've gone up in price. It was $285 for a basic site. This includes three pages, design, customization, and responsive design. If you get some of their uh, higher premium versions of the site, you get e-commerce functionality, they'll add five products. And if you go with premium, you can get up to 20 products, 10 pages, and they'll upload content for you. So I decided to go with the basic version. I figured why not just do this, and then uh, you know I'll make changes as needed. So. This was something I ended up spending a little bit more time on than I thought I would have to because I was basically having them build most of the design. But ultimately, I probably spent about an hour of my own time. So I'm gonna kinda of go through and give you an idea of what things were like with the old website, show you the new one, and then I'll talk a little bit about what happened here. First things first is I ordered this on August 1st, and or no, I'm sorry, I ordered it on July 29th, and they ended up getting this to me by August 1st. So this was literally within I'm just gonna look at my calendar because I want to give you guys kind of a time frame here. So the th it was the 29th, so that was a Monday, and they had this to me by Thursday, which was the first. So literally, I had this back within four days, which is pretty impressive for a website build. They sent me a demo, and I can't show you what the original one looks like because they've now revamped it. But basically, I sent this back to my client, and he was like, "Yeah, I just don't like it." And I kind of had given them some idea of, um, you know, I showed the client a bunch of examples that this particular person had done. They sent me a long list of a ton of different sites in various industries and niches. And I was like, hey, you know, here's all the sites that they've done. They're clearly all very impressive. Let's just give them a shot and see what they come up with. So that's what we did. And ultimately the client was like, I don't really like the design. I don't like some of the things that were stock images and stuff like that, which was to be expected. And what ended up happening was um, the client said, I really like this one website. So I wanna show you guys that first. The client was in love with this website. He liked the way the menu is here at the top. He liked the logo, the call to action in the center, the schedule a service call, and then you have all the brands that they service across the top. This is an appliance company. And then you've got your slider, some text here, and again, more calls to action. Then you've kind of got this slider here with all their employees, some text, um, all the different services that they offer. And then you have coupons, a video, as well as more um, text about like, you know, trust and things like that, social media links, some other stuff here in the homepage for the frequently asked questions, and then you've got your footer. So the client really liked this design. So basically I said, you know what? I went back to the person on Fiverr and I was like, look, can you make the site pretty much mimic this style? And they said, okay, I can do it for another $75. Now my budget with the client was $500. So I figured, hey, if I move forward with that, I still am gonna make a little bit of money on this and I'm not gonna have to put a lot of time into it. I was also doing it as good faith for the client. Normally for websites, I would charge upwards of $1,000 or more. In fact, I've sold websites for as much as $4,000 in the past. So, I mean, this was something 
I was more doing is good faith for the client because I've been already working with them. Literally, they've been paying me for over two years, over $500 a month for SEO service. So I said, you know what, why don't I get something going where you know I'm just gonna help them out with the site. I even told them essentially I was gonna be outsourcing it, but I knew that I was probably gonna have to do a little bit of extra work and that's why I charged the little bit of extra money so I could kind of get paid for my time that was gonna be needed to work with this fiber provider. So that's exactly what ended up happening, right? So I ended up spending roughly 350-ish bucks and I ended up needing to spend probably about two, one to two hours of my own time making some adjustments. So now let me show you their original site and then I'm gonna show you the final site that the person on Fiverr did for me. So this was their original site. You can see this isn't really that great. I actually have this on my 34 inch monitor right now. I'm recording in 1080p. I just shrunk my, my browser down and you can see how much extra space there is on the sides. And this whole like blank area on the right just didn't look great. And they had some cool quotes and pictures and the colors I thought were pretty good, but this was a site that another company that's doing AdWords for them was basically, you know, more or less built for them as a favor. So it wasn't a great site, it was clearly an old theme, it was hard to edit. Like at one point he asked me to remove one of the logos that was up here, I think it was for the BBB, and they decided not to work with the BBB anymore, so like I was having all this trouble just removing like an image out of this header because the theme was just so hard to actually work with. Uh, it was a little confusing because you have like different phone numbers and all these different things for their areas. It wasn't the greatest site, so it was kind of getting the job done and you know good for what it was but he knew that he wanted something a little bit nicer so this is ultimately what the final version is that the fiverr person came up with for me now i've made some adjustments to this um, i went in and uh, i was actually trying to play around with this image down here but you can see if we kind of look at the appliance champion they have the header area here we kind of mimic that and in fact i think this looks a lot better with the way the fonts look you have all the brands across here you've got the call to action to schedule a service call and then we have a cool slider that basically, you know, it says, hey, save time and money, South Florida appliance repair, schedule a call or call us now. I have an image of their trucks here, but I was having trouble getting it aligned with the theme. So I asked the guy in Fiverr when he goes and makes this live, just make those changes. So it's like little minor stuff I was just having trouble with. You have some cool images that pop in. This actually has a playable video here that they took from the old website. And then it's got like some info on what makes them special, some bullets here. I asked them to take some reviews from their, my, basically the client's Google page and they were able to do that and even take their photos and import them into this sort of testimonial area. And then we've got all their latest articles which are like blog posts and things like that. Now in terms of things that I had to go in and change, the first was they actually were trying to set up a subdomain on the client's server. Now what ended up happening is they had trouble with that and they said, you know what, why don't you just get everything moved over to the demo site, I'll give you the login. And once you get everything 100%, I'll go and overwrite that for you. So they're gonna deploy this for me on my client's domain. Some of the things that I had to change were this whole footer section had, um, it had the correct address and phone, but there was like a blurb here that was just filler text and the footer links went to basically a bunch of pages that didn't exist. So I swapped that stuff out pretty easy to do in WordPress. There was an extra footer section here, which I removed. I basically had a whole frequently asked questions section that basically was not filled out, it was all dummy text. And we didn't have one on the old site, so I decided to remove that completely. Some other things that we decided to do were, they had an image here and he actually imported, it's kind of funny, the Fiverr guy imported this exact image of this other company. So obviously I can't use that with my client because that's not, not his employees. So I swapped in an image, but I was having a little bit of trouble, as I said, trying to get it lined up. You can see the top of the trucks there. But uh, I asked him to kind of move things up, which will probably be pretty easy for him. And um, the phone numbers all had like the plus in front of it, which is typically something you might see with international phone numbers. So I went in and I just changed that on the slider and at the call to action here. Now in terms of any other work I had to do, of course this site did not have any of the existing pages or any of the existing SEO work that I had done on the prior site. Now what's great about this is I was able to log in to the old client site and I basically have an SEO plugin called All-in-One SEO Pack and that has an export feature. So I was literally able to export all the SEO. And in addition, WordPress has a native option where you can actually export all the blog posts and all the pages. So I simply exported everything, I re-imported it into this site, and then I just redid the menu with all these, um, all these different items. Now what's great about this is if I go to any of these pages, all the content moved over, even all the images, and if I hit edit page, I can actually go and see all the SEO work that was done that I originally did on the, um, the original site is now here on these new pages. So this thing is pretty much ready to rock. The other cool thing that I discovered I thought I would share with you guys is with this particular theme that the Fiverr developer decided to use, 
they installed something called AV and it's version 1.6. So I decided to look this up to give you guys some idea of, you know, like what kind of theme would they have included? And this is actually a very open-ended theme. They have a whole bunch of pre-built sites like for restaurants or, you know, candy, I guess that's just the design, lookbook, SEO, all kinds of different things that they have here. So basically I said, you know what, what does this theme cost? Because basically I got a copy of this with my purchase. And I went and looked it up on Theme Forest and it's actually $39. So that's not super expensive for a theme, but they did include a license with this on the site. So that was something as part of what I paid for. So overall, I think I had a good experience. Um, they were very uh, good about working with me. When I even had them made the revisions to basically kind of mimic this site that the client really liked, they were able to get that done within just another couple days. And it was very cheap to have them make the modifications. So this is something that if I had gone in and tried to figure out like, how am I gonna copy all these different logos and branding and try to make this like look all the same, I probably would have just spent so much time on it and I don't think it would have been worth it. So if you have clients that you can go out there and actually start spending some money with, they're actually able to afford, hey, you know, I'm gonna front you $500 or $1,000 for a project. You could definitely go to Fiverr and spend some money on web design. You might be able to find people who offer it even cheaper on Fiverr. But again, you really, you get what you pay for. So if you guys like the idea of doing some of this stuff as well, I actually outsource a lot of my SEO, but uh, I don't use Fiverr for a lot of that. So what I wanted to mention before we close out this video is if you guys are curious about how can you start making more residual income as opposed to doing like small stuff like these website designs, I have a masterclass webinar that I put together that kind of covers how I go about outsourcing a lot of my SEO and my Facebook ads and a lot of other services that you can charge recurring for every month. So check the link below. I'm gonna leave a link where you guys can go register for that, check out that masterclass and learn how I'm outsourcing a lot of services that you can really start making a lot of money from each and every month. You know, this same client that I gave you guys as an example, I've literally had them as my client for, and now I think it's been a little over two years, and I actually have a partner that comes in and does the bulk of the work, and really my side of the work is just working with the client, managing that relationship, and uh, it's been very, very easy. I don't really have to do a ton of work, and I have my buddy kind of in the background. He doesn't have to talk with the client all that much, and it just works out really well that I'm not dedicating a ton of time to this, and the client continues to pay me each and every month. So again, if you wanna learn how I'm doing that, definitely check out my masterclass. Be sure to look out for my future videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And again, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy it.